Keyside Attractions. Down by the docks, that is the place to be. Down by the docks, the gateway to the sea. Down by the docks, I we are a team. One morning, Bill and Ben the Tank Engine Twins puffed into Branham Docks with a train of China Clay Wagons. As they rolled along the quay, Ben noticed something. You see that, Bill? See what? That! A small group of harbor workers stood around a young-looking man. See? I wonder what that's about. Did you see his camera? Maybe he's one of those railway enthusiasts. But he completely ignored us. The twins were very puzzled. What train spotters ignore trains? Maybe he's lost. Who's lost, mateys? Asked Saldi. It's the man with the camera. Ben thinks he's a train spotter. He missed us completely. You see him, Salty? Oi, um, I have, matey. He's been here since the sun rose. Saw him talking to the harbour master not half hour ago. The twins were even more surprised. Why would he be talking to the harbour master? Maybe he was buying something. We're all looking for someone. But the twins were still puzzled. Later on, when they were back at the harbor, there was the man, still talking to the dock workers. The twins were still unsure what to think, and they couldn't ask him, as he was too far away. Later that afternoon, Bill had brought down a small rake of trucks from the China Clay Pits. He had just backed down beside the water column when the mysterious man walked over. Hello there. He called happily. Hello, mate. How can we help you? I'm a journalist for British Railways Journals, a magazine I've been doing for several articles about railway dock sides. I'm writing an article about Brendam, and I was wondering if you could spare a few words. I can have Bill here be the main pitcher in return. Bill liked the sound of that. Hmm. We've got some shunting to do. Just this once, you can have a cab ride. How does that sound? Super! The journalist squeezed into the cab, and Bill puffed proudly away. Bill ambled up and down the key, happily showing his paces while the journalist spoke with his crew. He soon had a line of empty trucks ready, and the journalist clambered out of the cab. Thank you very much for the ride, Bill. He said happily. Is it possible for me to get my photo before you go? Certainly. One of us backing down onto the trucks. He got his camera ready, and Bill started to roll backwards into the frame. <laughs> Just wait till Ben sees this, he thought to himself. He was so busy with his thoughts, however. Hey, look out! Huh? Oh! <laughs> oh! A crate of fish had been upset all over Bill. No one had been injured, but Bill felt rather foolish. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. It's my fault. Uh, no worries. Our fault? More like that idiot crane operator. Anyways, we must really be away. The mess was quickly cleared up. The journalist helped where he could. Bill whistled his goodbyes and slipped away. He felt foolish, and was glad Ben had missed the event. A few weeks later, Bill's driver arrived clutching a magazine. A hey, hey, look, Bill! There on the front cover was a picture of Bill, with fish decorating his top. It's all spills and thrills at Brendam, said his driver reading the text below. Ben bellowed with laughter. <laughs> Bill pretended not to hear, but he couldn't stop his face going red. Oh.